All right, guys, we are back and we finally get to watch FSU start running in the portal. We had to wait a little longer than most people due to the NIL sanctions against Florida State, but now they finally can uh, contact guys in the portal. And the first one I was able to confirm that there is mutual interest with is Simon Barrow Jr. out of Michigan State, defensive lineman from Grovetown, Georgia. Uh, this guy has really good stats. In 2023, he had 36 total tackles, uh, three and a half sacks, and one forced fumble. Uh, this is definitely a guy to watch. Really good. Uh, he's actually entered the portal before, I believe, but has never gone anywhere. Has always gone back to Michigan State. But this is definitely one to watch. Another one that – well, actually, we'll get into a whole position group now before going back to defensive line. The wide receivers have been a huge topic of conversation uh, recently, especially after the spring game. Uh, and I agree with that. It, they've, it has definitely shot up as a more important position of need for Florida State. Uh, they need a guy who can really stand out as a number one or who has a lot of production and can come in and plug in right away. Um uh, Malik Benson has been their top guy throughout spring camp, but no one has really stood out so far. Uh, so they kind of do want that one guy or want some guys who can they can plug in. And I do feel that they may take more than one receiver, probably two max, uh, but I don't think it'll stay at one. So the wide receivers that we're kind of looking at there, there are really three main ones that I'm watching and there are two of them that we feel that has been mutual interest with the player and Florida State. Those two are Keandre Lambert Smith from Penn State and Elijah Badger from Arizona State. Keandre Lambert Smith is the top uh, available wide receiver in the portal right now. He was really expected to be Penn State's top guy or top option. Uh, from listening to some things on the On3 network, like Pete Nakos on Andy Staples last week when he entered the portal, he wants to go with an experienced quarterback or someone who can give him the ball a lot and in good positions, right? Uh, DJU, in my mind, really fits that. Uh, and, I mean, he's an experienced quarterback. He's on his fourth year, third team. Uh, he's played a lot of football. So DJU is obviously a big draw for him. And – Last year, receiving at Penn State, he had 673 yards on 53 receptions from four touchdowns. The longest reception, the longest reception of that was 72 yards. This is definitely someone to watch, and this is someone who we feel is one of the most likely to take a visit out of the people with their mutual interests and kind of soon. Pete Nakos even reported earlier uh, Monday that Florida State has made a surge in this or have contacted him and have made a big push to get that next visit. It seems like that they're fighting USC for that next visit as Lambert Smith leaves AM and um, today or Monday from a visit, and he visited Auburn over the weekend as well. Now to Elijah Badger, who I just mentioned, wide receiver from Arizona State. Uh, this guy, it's actually interesting looking at his stats. They have used him both in the run game and the pass game. He actually has 11 rushing attempts for 51 yards in 2023 with one touchdown. And he also has 65 receptions for 713 yards and three touchdowns, the longest being 65. He also did some kick returns, had 20 kick returns for 578 yards, the longest being 81. Obviously, Florida State doesn't really need a kick returner. Uh, we have Jalen Lucas. We have guys who have been brought in for that, but it's always a plus to have. And the running game part interest, intrigues me as well, as Florida State loves to use versatile guys and use them in different situations, on whether it be a jet sweep or a pitch or something different. Florida State and Mike Norvell love to scheme those kinds of things up, and I think this guy's a perfect fit for that. Another wide receiver that I am watching who we haven't – I don't feel there's mutual interest right now, but I think Florida State could go after, or I'm just – again, just watching – uh, is Jay Fair out of Auburn, uh, originally from Dallas, Texas, Rockwall Heath High School. He had 31 receptions for 324 yards and two touchdowns under a mediocre quarterback. So you can kind of take those with a grain of salt. They're not putting him in the right spot. But again, that is someone I really like, and I am watching at the wide receiver position. I do feel Florida State will take two wide receivers, and those are the first three I look at. Um, as we go on, if they miss on a few, we will probably find more wide receivers. But I do think they take two, and I, these, I do think these are the first three they'll look at. We already feel there's mutual interest between two out of the three. And now we'll go back into defensive linemen. One that we feel there's mutual interest in 
is C.J. West out of Kent State. In 2023, he had 40 total tackles, 20 solo, 20 assisted, and seven tackles for loss and two sacks. And he even had a forced fumble in there as well. Again, this is someone who's really good at Kent State. Florida State has been very good with finding these guys. Think of it like, I mean, it's Maction, right? Uh, Braden Fisk came from Maction too. So this could be, I'm not calling him the next Braden Fisk, but I'm saying that's your the kind of type you want to look at of Florida State finding these little diamonds in the rough from a uh, group of five conferences. And this is also a guy that we feel could visit soon or most likely visits out of the ones that we think there are mutual interest with. Another one that we don't know, we don't feel there's mutual interest yet, but I had talked to him actually right after the last video that we made uh, is Elijah Herring, who was the tackles leader at Tennessee last season, probably the best linebacker available in the portal right now. And has been, he went to Colorado over the weekend. I'm not sure about other visits, but I do know he went to Colorado. Uh, he did tell me he has interest in Florida state and that I even asked him if he would take a visit, if they reach out and he said, yeah, they got to be interested in taking a visit. So I think this is when Florida State kicks the tires on that they could go, do well with. Again, this guy's a stud. I know Jeff mentioned him on his show uh, when he first entered the portal a few days ago or last week. This guy is really good, and I think he could really bolster that linebacker room. Even though the linebackers have been fairly good, and I think they, in my opinion, they were the most improved position group in the spring for Florida State, but it's still a lot of young guys, and you still probably want to bring in a linebacker. As of now, I would think your top three positions to go after are wide receiver, defensive tackle, and linebacker. And we are kind of seeing that with uh, with who we feel there's mutual interest with. After that, I think would be offensive tackle. Uh, and as we go into offensive line, we also do feel there is mutual interest with Jason Sandamella. This was fairly expected. They pushed, they pushed very hard for him out of high school in 2024, in the 2024 class, and he only is transferring after a – one semester at USC. Uh, he's had a good relationship with Atkins. They've always been tight. I think Florida State could do very well here. And this is another one where we think that uh, Florida State could get a visit soon, or we feel Florida State could get a visit soon, just because of that previous relationship and how much he already knows about Atkins and how close he already is with him. That's a very big deal when it comes to the portal. And Jason Zendamella already knows this staff really well. So I think this is at someone who we could see on campus or I feel we could see on campus soon. And yeah, that is it for right now. Again, uh, we are going to be doing these fairly a lot, I guess is the best way to say it. We're going to be doing a lot over the next week uh, as the portal ramps up for Florida State. Uh, we do think they're going to take multiple guys. We do think it's they're going to be more active in the portal uh, in the spring than they have. Like last year, I believe they got three guys in Keon Coleman, Ashlyn Barker, and uh, Justin Cryer. This time, I definitely, I mean, I think they're going to take at least two, or not at least, I think they're going to take two wide receivers and then other positions as well. So I think we're going to see it get above that that number from last year. It'd be more active. And last one, as we're ending this video, I didn't really want to mention it because right before I went on to record, he committed to Oklahoma. But Jermaine Lowell was also one we felt there was mutual interest with. Again, I haven't seen that he signed, which is still a thing in the portal. If you didn't know, kids can flip in the portal. It doesn't happen a whole lot, but he did just commit to OU, and I we did feel there was mutual interest with Florida State. Uh, so maybe some, someone to keep an eye on, but not a whole lot since he just committed elsewhere. But, yeah, that is all, and we will have a lot more of these to come in this week. Have a good one, guys.